Well, this year we're going to see COP26 take place here in the UK. It's a really important year for climate action and we're seeing governments, business and investors making commitments towards net zero. So one of the questions we're hearing a lot from investors in business is how do I get there? How do I get to net zero? And the EU taxonomy is one of the tools that investors and business can use to help them in that transition. The EU taxonomy is a significant development for a number of reasons, but in my mind mostly because it's the first serious effort by regulators to regulate a disclosure requirement not against a financial measure or financial risk measure, but against a sustainability target. And this case, that's the EU's commitment uh, to be carbon neutral by 2050. The taxonomy will help uh, investors and companies contribute to the Paris Climate Agreement. And it will do so by enabling companies and issuers to access financing for economic activities and sectors that are consistent with the EU's commitment uh, to be net zero by 2050. And therefore, it will decarbonise high emitting uh, sectors and help to grow low carbon sectors. To be aligned with the EU taxonomy, an economic activity needs to make a substantial contribution to one of six environmental objectives and it needs to avoid significant harm to the other five. It also needs to meet minimum safeguards defined in line with the OECD guidelines on multinational enterprises and the UN guiding principles on business and human rights. So the technical expert group, which is an independent body, has made recommendations to the European Commission for technical screening criteria, which help us to understand whether or not an economic activity meets the taxonomy requirements. And this is the final report in an 18 month process. There have been multiple interim reports, there's been extensive consultation, and the group has been working in depth with industry experts to make sure that the recommendations are robust and credible. The TEGS report includes activities that can make a substantial contribution to climate change mitigation and climate change adaptation. And looking at climate change mitigation specifically, it includes a range of activities. It includes those that are already very closely aligned with net zero by 2050, the very deep green activities. It also includes a whole range of activities that need to rapidly transition to get to net zero by 2050. And it includes activities that can enable reductions in emissions in other sectors. This week, the technical expert group has published its recommendations to the European Commission. And by the end of this year, the European Commission will codify in what are called delegated acts or legal instruments, the economic activities and the measurements. There's then a 12 month uh, preparation uh, window. And so investors and companies will be required to disclose against the taxonomy by December 2021. Investors should start by reading the taxonomy guidance and then they should go to our website where we have a number of resources that can help them work their way through the taxonomy.